Yo, what is going on guys? Max Shazzy with a brand new video and today we're back doing another Fallout 4 modded video. So these have been getting a lot of support actually. Like it's been crazy how much support these have gotten and I'm so thankful and grateful for it. It is actually insane. But yeah, with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and jump to our first one. We are going to be doing this camo nice arm that someone has gratefully created for us. This looks sick. There are different variations of this. Uh, I'll show you another one right now actually. So right here we have the autumn scrub. We do have just the regular coat thicket, uh, which actually has a little less orange and things like that. This is probably one of my favorite mods so far. This is beyond cool. It kind of gives me like a Freedom Fighter vibe, like, or like a sniper sitting in the woods or something like that. It is sick. If you haven't tried this mod out, you need to go try this out. This is a really freaking sick mod. The stats aren't really great on it, but there are little things that you can put on it, like different types of... Uh, miscellaneous type things that you can do to try, get, try to make it a little bit better for yourself. Beyond that, there's not really much I can say bad about this mod. And even with it, what do you expect? I mean, look at it. It's it's just cloth. Like, it's not going to protect you very much. But it's still really cool, and I highly recommend you checking it out. Next mod I do want to talk about is called Dreadhead Gear. And just look at this. Oh my god, there are a ton of different options for these that you can all get. There's so many different options for these. It's actually kind of crazy. A bunch of different colors on them. And some of them are open, some of them are closed. There are actual helmets in here too. Like I'll go ahead and show you this rebel helmet. So really there's a lot of different options that this mod comes with. And it is primarily focused just on headgear. No types of really armor to go with it as far as I know of. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But from what I can tell, it's really just headgear. But it is the sickest headgear mod I've ever seen. I know I gassed up a lot of mods, but holy crap. Look at this thing. Well, maybe not like this because, well, hang on. Are you, look at this. It's crazy. It kind of reminds me, this one at least reminds me almost of a Plague Doctor's mask. It's, oh my God, it's so cool. Whoever did this mod, huge props to you. You did an amazing job. You killed it. You pushed it way out of the park. You nailed this. Next mod I do want to talk about is called Commando. So uh, upon entering after you download the mod, you do get this little section on your map called the Commando Bunker. It is right here near Abernathy Farm and all of that. And upon arriving, you'll notice this bunker is not like all the others. There's a giant nuke on top for one. And and apparently <laughs> the floor is not real. Jesus Christ, let's go ahead and go inside. And right here we have our delightful new armor. Uh, it looks like someone's wearing it, but I think it's just a mannequin. <laughs> I hope it's just a mannequin. Uh, it's kind of fidgety. There we go. Go ahead and I'll take all that. Thank you very much. And this is what you get with the final product after coming here. A very, very, very nice looking set of armor. Everything seems pretty normal. I don't think you can use this as a home. Looks like a lot of the stuff you just can't really interact with. Uh, it's really just a nice little showcase place. Wow, this is actually kind of cool. You can take the power armor set and you can use the power armor station. Uh, there is another door, and yeah, so you can technically use this as a home. You just can't really, wow, yeah, this is a player home, basically. Yeah, okay, so it kind of works as a player home, too. So you can use it as a player home, as well as, you know, getting some nice armor. Wow, that's really cool. I'm so sorry. This is the final product. That looks much better. Okay, I, I like this mod. This is a nice mod. This is... This is really cool. You get a little player home, you get some really good armor. Uh, what's the stats on it? Is it pretty good? It's... Yeah, it looks fairly decent. It's not, you know, assault marine armor good, but it's it's still pretty good. It holds up pretty well. The next mod I do want to cover is the Private Military Company Outfit. So, uh, I'll give you a quick little look at it. You can change the colors of the shirt, the pants, and the other things like the patch and things like that. Thank you very much. And... I think it's a pretty cool mod. I think it adds a nice little modern touch to it. it gives it a more of a militia type feel if that's what you're going for in your playthrough. I think this is a pretty pretty good mod for you. Uh, you do need Armorsmith to do this one and a few other the mods that I did show you today. Just make sure you check the description of all the mods that I've listed in case you're wondering which ones you do and don't need Armorsmith for. Yeah guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see in the future, any types of videos or anything like that. And yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.